Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Johannesburg International Motor Show, in conjunction with the Track and Bus Show, is being held at NASREC from October 16 to October 27 and showcases vehicles from all aspects of industry. Natasha Werdendahl reports. The Johannesburg International Motor Show saw the launches and unveiling of several new vehicles set to hit the South African market this year and next, including new hybrid, energy efficient and electric vehicles. Tata delivered several new offerings at the show, with the launch of the new crossover passenger vehicle, the Tata Aria, as well as the Tata Prima KL3 TXF 6x4 truck tractor and the Tata Ultra 812 truck. The recently launched new generation Bucky Zenon XT was also on display. Isuzu Truck unveiled its new upgraded N-Series NMR250, which would be fitted exclusively with Isuzu Truck's automatic manual transmission in both its freighters and crew cab ranges. Iveco placed emphasis on the arrival of the latest extra heavy range vehicles, the new Stralis, Highway and the new Tracker. The heavy duty Eurocargo was displayed ahead of its official launch scheduled for next year. Volkswagen commercial vehicles revealed three new offerings to the market, a special edition Amarok double cab, the Amarok Worthersea and the Cross Caddy Van Passenger Series. In the passenger vehicle arena, VW announced its plans to introduce the first electric Golf in 2014 and had unveiled the Jetta Hybrid, which is already in production, as well as the E-Up small electric city car and the Golf 7 Blue Motion energy efficiency model. Back into the commercial sector, Heino announced its intention of upgrading and expanding its 700 series range from 5 models to 13 with all vehicles fitted with a Euro 4 engine. The extended 700 series range will go on sale early next year. The additional models are a new 8x4 range and a new 6x4 freight carrier. Mercedes-Benz commercial vehicles launched its new 7-speed automatic transmission Sprinter while its passenger division reiterated the launch of the new C-Class in June. Further on the passenger vehicles industry, BMW South Africa planned to introduce the i3 electric vehicle and the i8 hybrid new generation sports car in South Africa in 2014. The Nissan Leaf electric car would also be available in South Africa from November, starting with seven dealers in Gauteng, where charging stations would also be based. Other news making headlines this week, a South African manufacturer unveils its locomotive steering innovation and the Thales Group unveils its integrated airport security offering. Gauteng-based DCD Rolling Stock launched its patented Jika passive hydraulic steering system for locomotives earlier this month at the Trans-Africa Expo in Johannesburg. The Jika is a passive hydraulic steer. It's a mechanism that allows us to steer a bogey uh, using a hydraulic system. Uh, currently that is done by means of a linkage system uh, which is quite cumbersome and not quite as effective so the Jika itself uses positive and neg negative pressures in a hydraulic system to actually do that a lot more efficiently than what the uh, current linkage system does. The benefits are immense. Um, we find that we are capable of extending wheel life which is the main wearing component on any locomotive up to three times. Thales South Africa, part of the global Thales Group, focuses on the security of citizens, infrastructure and nations. Its latest offering is the Airport Operation Control Centre, which is an integration of all its security systems and enables airports to make decisions more effectively. From Thales, uh, we offer a, a, a portfolio of uh, systems that integrate all the uh, security measures uh, within airports and uh, also within other uh, government uh, important uh, entities uh, in order to ensure that uh, security is not is not viewed as a, um, uh, as a as a separate system but rather as an integrated system part of the business uh, decision making and uh, part of uh, what Talis is uh, uh, is doing is to install uh, or integrate uh, systems that are of uh, collaborative nature 
That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.